Hello, educators. Welcome to Analysis Thursday. I am Carla Boswell Lewis, Director for Strategic Educational Consultancy Services, on a mission to empower you, educators. Analysis Thursday is about helping the educator to look on the working week, what it has been like, what were the actionable steps or tips that you utilized, what is it that you will need to take over into the next working week, and how have you you know, look back at what you have done as a reflective practitioner and to assess how you have been and how have you aligned your students for success based on the actionable tips or the strategies that were shared with you on Strategy Sunday. Strategy Sunday, we looked at standardized assessment. What is it that we need to know about it, the myths and the facts? We mentioned that there are several myths and facts that are out there. And so as the practitioner, as the educator, you will need to know these. You will need to unravel the myths. You will also need to secure yourself in the facts so that you can be a better practitioner. You can become greater at your craft. And so you can also help your students to become successful. We know that standardized assessment um, relates to testing that has been done in a consistent and standard format and also scored along that line there are different for there are, there are different types for different regions we mentioned the caribbean utilizing the cape and csec for students who are exiting high school in jamaica we utilize the pep exam for students who are moving from primary to high school and in different regions in america there's the act there's the sat in canada they have different tests that are being utilized the aim of these tests is to set a benchmark at which students should know when they're matriculating to another level what are the common underpinning knowledge that they should know that will be able to help them as they study in their field or within that region now, this is not only for educators, because I know that as parents, we have drawbacks at times about um, the testing that are done. There, there are myths that are out there that we know that they cause us to have undue stress. And so this week, I would have highlighted in Instagram, on Instagram and Facebook, the different myths and facts that are there. No, the idea is to help you to understand them and to be able to see standardized assessment for what it is. Now, a common one that was uncovered, we I, I mentioned the, the fact that individuals believe that they have no place in the education system and also that they are tied to school improvement. Now, these are one-off testing. And if students are to move from one field to another, from one level to another, there must be a consistent way. There must be a benchmark at which we will be assessing them and we'll be able to give um, clinical um, answers to what is it that students know and don't know within the different subject areas. Additionally, um, you know, Standardized assessment cannot be tied to school improvement because it's one-off testing. So educational leaders and teachers are responsible for making the improvement that they need to make in their school. And remember that each school context is different and students will perform differently. We did mention that a fact for a standardized assessment is that it helps you to compare schools. So you're able to see how students perform at one school as opposed to the next and how it is that as an educator, you can do your network building, you can do your best practices adaptation that you need to do in order to help you to teach your students uh, better. Another um, fact that it, you need to understand why it, they have a place in the education system is that it guides the curriculum. It guides what students need to know. It tells you based on the tests that they do what they know in a specific subject area and what they don't know. And so this is helpful when you go to plan the curriculum to um, to set up the syllabus. It will be able to give the policymakers a true reflection of where needs to be adjusted, how it is that they can help teachers to improve their craft, 
how is it that they can plan workshops to deal with the situations that they're what that they're seeing and so the the the, the target approach would be Firstly, to help educators, because most times when these standardized assessments are done, these assessments are the, the, the feedback comes after the students have matriculated. So it will not be of great benefit for the student unless the student is repeating. But it is of great benefit for the educator because you, the educator will not be able to look to say, OK, this concept was not taught properly. And that is why the students faltered in this section or faltered with this question or this this concept that they should know and so this is what i will be doing differently educators i have always and i've, I've been preaching it and i've been saying it to you guys team build um, team building network building collaboration it is important. There is no need for you to believe that you know everything or if you are having a problem that you are not a good teacher. I have benefited from networking with individuals. There are areas in my, in my field that I may not thoroughly grasp because I'm a reflective practitioner. And so each year I keep going back. I keep looking to see what can I do differently? And so that is the approach that you should take too. And so that is why I, I will say and always say that standardized assessment has its place because when the, 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 um, the feedback is given, you are able to look into yourself, into the content that you have passed on to see what you have done and how you can do it differently. Educators, the myths are there for you to unravel them in your mind, to look at them and to see does this make sense? How does this help me? And to secure yourself in the facts so that you're better able to be the reflective practitioner that you ought to be and also to align your students for continued success. Strategy Sunday that is coming up, we will be looking at aligning content for standardized assessment and you sure don't want to miss that. As you come to the end of the teaching work week, look back and see how you have been, what you need to change going into the new week. And remember that you are changing lives, not just for this season, but for the seasons that the students will be passed on to and how it is that they will become successful. Remember that you should leave a good taste in their mouth that they can always say, I am a better student because of this. Now, if you liked this video and you'd like to uh, share it with a colleague or a friend, go ahead and do so. If it is that you would like to receive um, additional information or to receive more content related to this, why not subscribe if you have not yet subscribed? Or if it is that you have subscribed, keep commenting in the, in the chat, keep giving the thumbs up. And I just want to say thank you, my 105 subscribers, for joining on, for subscribing to my channel, for listening to the videos, for watching. Thank you so much. See you on Sunday when we do Strategy Sunday. Strategic Educational Consultancy Services on a mission to empower you educators. Thank you.